Make sure you stay until the end, we will explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and that can cost you quite a bit of money. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 4 Series Generation F32, F33, F36. This guys is the 4 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, you need to find by the way where the ECU fuses are located. You may have more than 10 fuses in different fuse boxes. They will just will explain that in this video today, where each one of those is located. We will talk where you can buy cheap fuses, parts to use that way you do not waste your money why it's important to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure it's stand till the end now even though we have bmw 3 series right here at the garage 3 and 4 series are built on the same platform many of the things will be interchangeable or even about the same but we'll specifically explain about the ecu fuses on bmw 4 series in this video where they're located make sure it's stand till the end before we start guys let me tell you a little bit about us if you guys need to find fuses relays for that bmw 4 series generation from 2013 to 2019 we'll make video for every single fuse relay why because let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to find where the fuel injector or fuel pump fuse is located you have multiple hidden fuses you can find and replace it get back on the road guys fix that problem because otherwise okay you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere every single car we get here at the garage guys we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything from transmissions engines bodywork guys all that will be on our channels check it out let me show you where you can find more about it right here we have more than 10,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you need to buy parts tools fuses for your bmw or any car at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from so let's start on it now so what we have here specifically guys 2015 bmw okay four series that we will demonstrate on you have up to six different fuse boxes uh now three of them are easy to get to three are kind of like hidden the first fuse box that we need is under the hood if you come right here on the passenger side okay in front of the windshield and behind the shock tower remove that cover you get to a fuse box open the fuse box guys cover okay and uh, you will see a fuse box layout that will look okay just like this one before we guys continue let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below here we'll need to check, check multiple fuses. This fuse row guys here is towards the windshield side. This is the front of the BMW, passenger side, driver side. We're going to start now, okay, in that row here. Even if you have a missing fuse, you need to still count that spot. The first fuse here is fuse number 18, but we need to check fuse number 19. That's an ECU fuse. Then you go to fuse number 20, 21. 21 is another ECU fuse, guys, okay, that you will need to check. Okay, let me just get my thing that i show you with okay so this fuse as well will need to be checked guys uh, so we start with 19 and 21 then we go to fuse number okay uh 22 23 will need to be checked right here 23 is another fuse okay specifically for that after that you will need to guys check fuse number 36 we're talking about that big fuse right here very important fuse 37 right next to it those two fuses will need to be checked after that we're going to go to a different fuse row and we're going to go to the bottom right there that bottom uh, fuse row that's facing towards the front the first fuse is number 42 so we need to check fuse number 43 here fuse number 43 then we go 4 5 46 47 right there after that we have different fuses guys that we need to check okay 
in a different fuse box. We need to open the main trunk fuse box right here. Okay, remove the cargo liner there in the trunk and you're going to uh, see a fuse box layout just like this one. Here we'll need to check more fuses now guys, more fuses, that's right. So uh, the first fuse that we need to check is known as fuse number 137. If you come in that row of fuses here, okay, that will be one, two. So that fuse right here, that 20 amp fuse, fuse number 137. Then we need to find fuse number, we come in this row here and we're going to have on top fuse number 143. Then we need to check fuse number 144, 145, 146. All these fuses are for the ECU management. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.